uh, over the next 15 years, uh, South Australia looks to play the major part in the shipbuilding and submarine building programme. We see Babcock having a pivotal role, not only uh, which grows our business, but helps the economic and skills base improvement for the state. Our business in South Australia really started in 2009 when we acquired a small engineering group from Weir Strachan and Henshaw. We've grown from that small business to where we are today, providing engineering services into defence, airports, ports, mining and construction. We found that the quality of engineering in particular meets our business needs. We are a high integrity, high mission critical engineering company and the engineering uh, students coming out of local universities have been fantastic. So much so we send them back to the UK to get about two years programme experience and our biggest challenge is getting them back to Australia to make sure they're providing a contribution to our business here. Being in tune with the education sectors is really important as we look to generate engineering solutions over the next 15 years. We found the universities here in South Australia very understanding of business need but also very connected to business. We're working with a number of universities currently on commercialising research and we're hoping that that provides a two-way benefit into the future. The Government of South Australia has been extremely proactive. It's been a huge surprise for Babcock and for me personally the access that we are given. They've sought uh, to understand our business model, our business needs, and at every opportunity try to help in that solution. They've really, as a state, looked at this as a win-win proposition. How can they benefit, but how can they help us uh, to maximise our business growth model at the same time? It's, it's been one of the biggest positives that I've taken from my five years here in South Australia.